Okay, so carrying on where we left off with my nice template of my breastplate cut out, I'm going to start dishing it. So I'm going to start using my dishing form that I had made. So I finally get to use it. And so I'm going to dish it. Now, dishing is not going to get the final shape of the breastplate that I need. So I am going to do dishing and then after that I'm going to raise it. Okay, so let's carry on. This is incredibly easier when it's hot and that's one of the main reasons why I had this one made out of steel is I can do this hot but I don't have gas so I can't do it hot you know? so, and I need to show you guys how to do it so let's carry on doing this elbow grease intensive process Okay, so carrying on here, I've got a rough shape that I need for the breastplate. Now up to the chest area of the breastplate. Okay, so now where a lot of people may go, go wrong here is that they make this too curved. Now your chest is pretty flat on near your collarbone area and making it curved here causes um, pressure on the sides of your collarbone which you don't really want so when you get hit hard in the breastplate it pushes into these corners into your breastplate and not in the middle so this side needs to be quite flat so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit ammo from this side on the wooden stump so I'm not gonna get dish it I'm just gonna slightly round it on the wooden stump which helps a little bit for less aggressive curves or dishing um, I'm not going to use the dishing hole I might just a little bit but otherwise I'm just going to use the um, flat wood itself the wood's got enough give that'll give me a nice curve Alright, moving on to the raising part now. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a cold until I can get my gas sorted out. Um, you know, just excuse my artisanal um, duct taping here. I had a very lovely bracket that held this thing on here. But obviously now I cannot find said beautiful bracket. So I will have to use my super duper duct tape to hold it in place for now. Well, that's how I started off. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so now you can see the efforts of the raising on how nice a nice round curve I'm getting into it and how nice and dished it is. Um, you know, how nice and round. So the, the whole idea what you want to do with this is that you're going to be raising something over it. Okay, so essentially what you're doing is you're doing that. See that lip there? And you're pressing this form over it. So this you can go rounder and rounder until you get to a ball that if you're going to do very tight raising, for instance for elbows and knees. And so yeah, that's how you carry it on. When doing a pattern like this, 
but it's always best to maybe you know divide it up into circles so you carry on in one uh, circle and then alternate so go this way one way opposite the other way otherwise what you do is this is moving steel around so with dishing if you're having it from this side you're just spreading it so you're actually thinning the steel out so from here you're going to be smoothing it over and moving the steel around you can push it in push it out and you get a nice a better even thing here so what happens if you keep going this way you're going to start warping all the steel like that and you will see it will actually warp it out quite a bit if you carry on doing it this way um, in one direction the whole time so alternated when going through um, I use this hammer it just works easier um, it's just heavy and it's, it takes you know a strain on your hand and it ties everything out so quickly but it, it works nicely for me moves the steel easily um, the other thing with this is that no, I think I, that pretty much summed it up do it light strokes um, if you think you're hitting too hard you probably are the most difficult thing really about raising is keeping that consistent curve so what you're supposed to do is like you see there is that it carries on so if I carry on this thing will be round like that uh, sometimes what happens you'll get to a point and it'll just pan off and just carry on straight um, and don't do too much at a time a little bit by little bit do many passes instead of less passes otherwise you can tear your steel and crack your steel and everything like that right so let's carry on let's do another pass Right, so we can see I've now raised the top section. Check out that nice round curve going towards the top. But it's also not too round there. It's reasonably flat to accommodate the chest. So if we look here, if you press it up here, now this is obviously going a bit high, but this edge should be rolled. So if I feel it across my chest, it's evenly pressure over my chest, with the top portion of my chest. So it won't hinder my breathing because if I do the breathing I breathe my diaphragm and all the extension happens in this part here where it is obviously bulged out so if I take a blow to the breast plate the pressure is all the way around the edge and obviously on the sides as well that will help um, distribute the force of impact okay so now I've rounded out the edges quite nicely you see it's got a very nice curve to it. I'm going to refine that curve a little bit more on the wooden stump. But yes, a rather nice curve to it. And the fitting is nice. So it sits all the way around, pressure around all the way on the edge, so it's nicely distributed around your whole chest area. And you can hear all the where the hollow sections are and where it's pressing against you.